Hello, this is the user guide for the administrator role in Polo 7. The administrator user can do the same things as the officer and supervisor, except he can do more features such as managing agencies, users, or editing Polo categories. I'll show you with a, an account, administrator account I created and in a moment you will see what I am talking about so so the first the first thing you will notice is that the administrator has a new tab called admin if we click on it you will see agency management user management and polo category management as I told you so if we click on agency management, it will show us all the agencies, the current agencies that exist on the server. And you will notice that this little icon is only on this agency. This is our agency. So we can only edit this one. If we click on the other ones, we will see a, like a preview of those agencies. So let's try editing FIU. And here we can change the agency name, the domain, the address, the city, state, zip code, and phone number. Let's try changing the phone numbers. The same one to 573 to 92 instead of 94. We click submit. And you will see that the phone number now is 92. We can create an agency, but we cannot edit them afterwards so let's say um, uh, let's see may pick I don't know what's the name Kendall and let's use the Gmail the address will be um, we can add anything it doesn't really matter And see code oh I forgot to enter the logo and it will show you that so let's use the um, use this one again it doesn't really matter right now as you could see the candle agency was created and it's using uh, this logo the address that enters there and the phone contact number so that's it for the agencies for user management we can see only the users that are in our agency FIU as you notice and this user that says it's not active it means that it has been created but the the user has not logged in yet so we can we cannot edit users but that's only an ability for the root but we can reset their password so if we click on, click on reset that user will be sent a new password and it will have to reset it so we can upload new users via CSV or we can add new users let's show you a new user let's say let's call it temporal2 first name agency our agency is the only one that we could create it on desktop we can only choose three roles officer supervisor administrator the root um, uh, the root user can actually create um, uh, can add a new role call um, call root the administrator cannot that's the, one of the main differences and if we click submit and go to user management we'll see that temporal 2 was created it's not active because it hasn't logged yet 
Now for the bottle category management, we can, these are the current categories that we have. We can click on one and edit it. Uh, let's see anything. Let's add a weapon. And we click on it and weapon, this attribute was added. We can preview it, how it will look on the bottle when we are creating a bottle. You, know, you will see weapon is added, has been added. And if we click on submit edit category, it will show us that category has been updated. So if we go to um, uh, the same category again, and we, we can also delete, delete it. But it won't allow us because that category cannot be deleted while being in use by Apollo. If you go home and take a look at the active bolos, you will see that one bolo here is actually using that category out of there. So if we try creating a new one really fast, let's see Arson name and we submit it. Since this category is not be in, in being used by any bolo, we can actually delete it. Now you click on delete and the category is not dead anymore. Also the administrator can actually go uh, uh, take the active bolos and archive them as the other, as the supervisor can. But it cannot edit like bolos created from users of other agencies like this one. This one is from the Yahoo agency. We click on edit. It won't allow us. We can only archive it. And once it is archived, we can delete this polo, restore it, or look on the details. We can subscribe, generic PDF, same as the other ones. Let's try deleting it so you can see it. As you see, I'm not authorized to delete this bolo because this is from the other agency, Yahoo. But if we try archiving um, both, both theft and deleting it, 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 it actually deleted it because it, it was created from our agency. So this is it for the administrator user. As I said, he can do the same things at the office and, and the supervisor, except with this added functionality. In the next video, we will see how the root user differs from the administrator.